Peter and the wolf. This is Peter and this is the wolf. Peter and his grandfather. This is Peter and his grandfather live next to a beautiful meadow. This is a beautiful meadow of lots of green grass. Next to the meadow, there was a dark forest. Okay, next to the meadow, there was a dark forest here. And in the middle of the forest, there lived a hungry wolf. This is the hungry wolf. Stay in the garden, Peter, said Grandfather. Never go into the meadow on your own. But why not, said Peter. There is a hungry wolf in the dark forest, said Grandfather. He could come creeping into the meadow and eat you up. So Grandfather told Peter, don't go to the meadow yourself because there's a hungry wolf that will eat you up. Peter looked over the garden wall. The meadow looked very beautiful. A little red bird flew up to a big tree. Peter, caught the bird. Why don't you come and play in the meadow? This is the little red bird. Little red bird told Peter, Hey, come, come, come to the meadow to play with us. Peter climbed over the garden wall and went into the meadow. Oh dear, Peter didn't listen to his grandfather. He went into the meadow on his own. There was a pond in the middle of the meadow. A duck waddled past Peter. This is the duck. Then she jumped into the pond and swam away. The little red bird flew down to the duck. Come back, she said to the duck. What a funny walk. Why don't you fly like me? I don't want to fly like you, said the duck. Why don't you swim like me? So both of them are arguing now. The bird told asked the duck, Why can't you fly like me? And the duck told the bird, Why don't why can't you swim like me? So they started arguing, they started quarreling. The two birds were very cross, they were very angry with one another, and they made a lot of noise. Suddenly Peter saw a cat, this is the cat, come creeping towards the bird. Look out, called Peter. The cat will catch you. At once, the little red bird flew up to the top of the big tree and the duck swam to the middle of the pond. They are running away from the cat. Just then, Peter's grandfather came into the garden. He looked over the wall and saw Peter in the meadow. He was very cross with him. Cross them is very angry with Peter. Come back at once, Peter, said Grandfather. So Peter climbed over the wall and went back into the garden with his grandfather. Suddenly, the wolf, this is the wolf, came creeping out of the forest. He saw the little red bird, the duck and the cat. He was so hungry that he wanted to eat them all. Oh dear. The cat climbed to the very top of the tree where the little red bird was sitting. So the cat and the bird climbed up to the tree. The two of them waited to see what would happen next. What do you think will happen next? The frightened, that means the very scared duck, jumped out of the pond. She waddled off as fast as she could. But the hungry wolf ran faster and caught her in his big mouth. So the wolf bite the duck. Oh no, the wolf ate up the duck. Oh dear. Then the wolf walked round and round the tree where the cat and the little red bird were sitting. The hungry wolf looked up at them. They were very frightened. The cat and the bird were very frightened. Because the wolf wants to eat them too. Peter found a very long rope. Okay, this is a rope. And climbed on top of the garden wall. Fly around the wolf's head! He called out to the little red bird. 
make him dizzy but stay away from his big mouth. So Peter told the little red bird, fly around the wolf and make him dizzy. The little red bird flew around and round the wolf's head. The hungry wolf tried to catch the little red bird, but after a time, he was very dizzy. He started being very dizzy. Peter climbed up the big tree. Then he let the rope down and caught the wolf by the tail. Look, he took he took the rope and, and the rope the rope caught the wolf tail. The wolf jumped up and down and tried to get away. But Peter held on to the rope. Oh, Peter caught the wolf. Just then grandfather saw Peter sitting in the tree. What are you doing up there? he caught. I've got the wolf by the tail, said Peter. Look! Suddenly, hunters came into the meadow looking for the wolf. Here he is, said Peter. Take him away! So, these hunters want to catch the wolf. And Peter caught the wolf. So, Peter told the hunters, please take the wolf away. The hunters took the wolf to another forest a very long way away from Peter and his grandfather, the cat and the little red bird. So the hunters took the wolf away to a place that's far, far away from where Peter and his grandfather lived. So Peter's grandfather then let him play in the beautiful meadow with the little red bird and the cat. So now Peter can play in the meadow because there's no more wolf. D and